Hi everyone. Welcome to Creative Stampin' Designs. My name is Karen and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Central New Jersey. And we're going to make a card today. If you hop on, say hi, let me know where you're from. <clears throat> All right, just give a second. Um, just a reminder, celebration is going on right now, and the items in the brochure are only while supplies last. I am using the Hippest Hippos today, along with the dies. Each of these are free with a $50 order, um, but the Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam cards and envelopes. Those have already sold out, so it's only while supplies last. Hey Donna, thanks for hopping on. The other thing I wanted to remind everybody is if you are one of the lucky people that gets the tax-free holiday, um, I believe Florida, yeah, Florida is coming up on, this is very small, I know you can't see it. It is on my blog. So, uh, and you can print it out there. We've got Alabama, uh, I guess it's Arkansas, Florida, Illinois, Massachusetts, Missouri, New Mexico, Ohio, Puerto Rico, South Carolina. Well, Puerto Rico and Alabama are done. Tennessee starts on the 29th. Then we got Texas, Virginia, West Virginia. And it goes through, I believe... The, be the middle of August. So if you're one of the lucky people in those states, Stampin' Up! has items that are considered um, tax-free. It's the Stampin' Seal, Dimensionals, a lot of the adhesives, and um, the markers, any things that you can use as school supplies. Hi, Pamela. Thank you for joining. Um, the other thing I wanted to let everybody know... If anyone is interested in joining, right now, along with, it's $99 for $125 of product, you get a, uh, Stampin' Up! throws in a paper pumpkin kit, and uh, a past paper pumpkin kit, along with business items if you wanted to make this a business, but they're also giving away this it's a journal not a journal I'm sorry um, a planner so if you're a planner kind of person it's really I have mine a lot of mine marked up already um, it's got different books that come with it I believe uh, where are they right Hold on one second it comes with three different oops I'm holding them upside down and all Ooh, what is that was right. Okay. Three different notebooks. Just a regular notebook. I think I think they're all. Then this is like for sketches. I actually use, I have one that's graph paper. And then just a plain one that you could do sketches in. And then there's all kind of pages that go with this that you fix it the way you want. And this is absolutely free. It's a $45 value um, that they will send you just for joining. All right, let's get started. Um, like I said, I'm using the Hippest Hippos. I did do a lot of the prep work ahead of time because I wasn't sure. Uh, I'm having trouble. I jammed my finger the other day, and I'm still a little swollen and bruised. So it hurts to stamp. So I'm doing a minimum amount of stamping today. All right, we are starting. I'm getting my my uh, stamp my uh, trimmer out. Okay, I have a panel. It's five and a half by eight and a quarter. Nothing is scored or cut, and we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that I get it right the first time because I I have another piece of paper, but I didn't I didn't. Uh, I'm just gonna guess I'm gonna do it right. I'm not gonna say anything else. Get my stuff. I have stamp pads are all in the way. All right, so we are going to start. 
by scoring it at one inch, two inches, three inches, and then five and a quarter. six and a quarter and seven and a quarter. All the measurements will be on my blog on Friday. All the, um, all the measurements along with um, all the scores, everything. All right, now we're going to set it. We're going to line this up at the one inch mark and we're going to move we're going to first put the arm in because I need to bring this a little bit closer and I'm going to hope that it's still in the view. Okay, so we're going to line this up and we're going to start by cutting from the one inch to the three inch. We're going to lift it up. We're going to go to that five and a quarter inch score line sure I have it there and we're going to cut to the seven and a quarter inch score line okay then we're going to move it down to the two inch mark and we're going to do the same thing we're going to cut from the one inch to the three inch five and a quarter to the seven and a quarter now I found it easier I flip it around and we're going to do the same thing again at the one inch and cut from one to three, lift, five and a quarter to seven and a quarter, and then go to the two inch, bring this back here, and cut from one to three, five and a quarter, seven and a quarter. Okay, and that's all the scoring and cutting. Now we're going to fold it. All right. So the top one here is going to be a mountain fold on both sides. Then a valley fold, mountain fold for the middle one. And it all kind of falls into place once you start folding it. So we got mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain. And then this, I'm doing it the wrong way, aren't I? Bear with me here. I know I'm doing it right. I just want it to Oops, forgot these folds over here. So this is a mountain, but this one's a valley. This one's a valley, and so this has to go behind. Like I said, once you're playing with it, everything folds. And if my fingers would work, my hands would work a little better, it would fold a lot easier. Come on, there we go. And the same thing on this side. The valley down, the valley down. And there we go. So we made a tower card. So let me just give it a little burnish and then I'll show you from the top. Hi Barbara, thanks for joining. Okay, now we're going to give these all a little burnish too. And there you have it. It's a tower card. I haven't made one of these in a while, so I thought I would do it again. Okay. That's it with the bone folder. And now we're going to decorate. So I have all these pieces all cut already. Because I figured I could glue. That might not hurt too much. So we're going to 
open it up again. And we have these, they're all 7 eighths of an inch. I need my tweezers so I can pick it up without sticking my finger in the glue. There we go. They're all 7 eighths of an inch. These two pieces are 5 and 3 eighths. Again, all the measurements, everything will be on my blog on Friday. And my card will be posted on my Facebook page. So I hope that you will make the card and share yours in the comments under my post. So this is the subtle... Oops, stick it to my finger. I got glue all over my fingers now. Uh, the um, subtle DSP. Wait one second. Let's see if I can get some of the glue off my fingers. Okay, now we're going to put the same pieces on the back, too. The card is one of my co-workers asked me to make a birthday card. Her granddaughter is turning one. And I showed her the hippo set, and she really liked it. So I was trying to think for a one-year-old. That's why I went with the um, petal pink. I just thought it was nice and soft. All right, so those are going to go there. And then I have the, um, the same design, the polka dots, with the soft sea foam, and we're going to put those up top and on the bottom. And again, they are all seven eighths of an inch. Also put, I have a couple pieces for the back. Since the back of the card needs to be decorated, because that's where the sentiment's going to go. Put that one there. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for joining. So you can, yeah, I... <laughs> I wasn't sure, Michelle. I actually, I had said at the beginning, I did a lot of the prep work ahead of time because I'm having trouble stamping, of all things, for me to be having trouble with. It was bad enough at work, I couldn't hold, uh, I was having trouble holding my pencil to do all the, get everything written down that I had to. All right. So there. There we have it. Now, I did, like I said, I did a lot of the prep work ahead of time. I cut from a, I'm going to get this the right way, a panel of pool party because I wanted, I wanted it to kind of look like the sky. I have, I'm not going to put this down yet, but that piece is going to go like that. I did, and these I have to put on, I'm going to need my tweezers for these definitely. I stamped using... The alphabet set and there's a glare. It's the punch that goes with it. I punched out the letters of her name because when I did the card for her grandson, I did the same thing. I put his name on it so I could personalize it. So I figured since I did for one, I have to do for the other one. So I'm just going to put those on the side and I'm going to put them kind of on, an, on angles. For fun. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. Just easier using I was originally going to put them on with glue dots and then I figured I was better off using uh, liquid glue because I had a little bit of room to move them around if I had to. 
and her name is Callie. I think when I did her grandsons, I did the letters crooked too. Anybody can move them up just a tiny bit. That's why I like the liquid glue. It gives me that little extra wiggle room. So we're just going to set this on the side and let it dry. And I think I got glue all over my... That. Okay, so we have this piece. And once again... I did stamp and color my hippo already, but I did not color the tutu in because very slowly and carefully out of the subtle petal pink um, polka dot, I had a scrap of it, the DSP. I stamped the hippo and I cut the tutu out and now I'm going to try to glue this on to my little hippo here. Not the time for glue not to come out. You only want, I only need a little bit of glue on this because I don't want it seeping out all over. And you just have to get it, so it's called paper piecing. Through there. The hippo has a little polka dot tutu on now. All right. I think everything else is going on with dimensionals. So I did pre-cut. This is the rose gold foil paper. Um, this is part of the dies. With it's this die here. So I cut the the bucket. It's a bucket. I cut it out. But I'm going to flip it upside down because we're going to put the little hippo on top of it like that. Okay. I also pre-cut the umbrella. I had cut it out in white and then I cut the top of it out in the green polka dot um, designer paper and just I glued it on already and I, I cut the birthday hat it's from the green and white polka dot or the soft sea foam polka dot but you can barely see it and I just have a glue dot on the um not a glue dot I'm sorry a dimensional on the back of it and I'm going to put the umbrella on with a dimensional also also all right so we are going to I got to figure out where I'm putting everybody I think what I'm going to do, what, oh, my fingers are so sticky. We're going to put this right at the bottom. I'm going to try to get everything lined up straight. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, um, the hippo on first because it'll be a little easier to get the bucket on then. I don't know how how it is by all of you, but it is hot here. It has hit 99, and well, when it was 90 out, said the uh, real feel was 103. So I haven't looked at it since it hit 99, but it's hot out there today. All right, and then. going to put the 
bucket on with dimensionals also. This one I have to be careful. I gotta make sure. I need to make sure it's on the the square. And what I did, I used the largest stylish shapes square die, which you can't even see the stitching because then I embossed it with into the clouds. So you can't even see that I um, that it's the stitching. Let's put this. I'll try to get to make sure this is centered. That's why I'm using the center line of my grid paper. Then this, actually we could put the hat on. And I definitely need the my tweezers for this. Oops. All right. And then this is gonna go on like that. And I think I'm, you know what, being, a ta being hand delivered, I'm going to put it on with dimensionals. You're in the 90s too, Michelle? Yeah, the humidity is really bad here. It's too hot even to walk out for the mail. <laughs> All right. That looks centered. So you only see the name really when it's opened up, but that's okay because if it'll sit on the counter and that's or the table or whatever and that's where you'll see it all right and then I am going to put the umbrella we're going to use it I'm using dimensionals for everything today use a little bit of liquid glue but everything's going on with dimensionals I did cut out one more, the number one, that I I was going to put a candle in the hippo's hand, but the candle that I had was way too big. So we went with the number one. All right, we're going to add, we have to add bling because it's a birthday card, so you just have to do that. And I have, they are the adhesive back, they're seasonal sequins, but there was white. So I thought I would use some, some of the white ones. And we're just going to put a few around because I just, it needs bling. Especially since it's a little girl's birthday card. Most little most little girls like bling. I will put I think we're gonna do five. Put one more there. Okay, so that's it for the card front. We're going to do the, the back or the inside, which I just realized I cut the piece too big. 
Hmm. Okay, I gotta cut it down a little bit. I need my ruler though to see. I completely forgot to take that into consideration. So I'm gonna cut it down to, I guess, three, try three and three quarters. I can always go smaller. Okay, it'll overlap a tiny bit, but that's okay. That means this piece, because I did have a mat for the back. Right, let's see how this will look before I do it, before I stamp anything on it at least. That should be good. And I may even add a little bling to the back. All right, so I have the happy birthday. For, I needed a happy birthday that was printed. Not that she's going to be able to read it, but I don't know. It's I guess it's just one of those things. I just feel, felt like it needed to be printed. So I got the sentiment from Nuts About Squirrels. And then... I have Love You a Ton, which is part of the Hippest Hippo set. And we're going to stamp them in gray granite, which is the color I colored the hippo. I forgot to tell you. The hippo is colored with um, dark and light gray granite. And then the ears are colored with um, flirty flamingo. All right, we're just going to stamp this. on the top make sure this is straight okay I don't know the original plan was I was going to stamp the hippo on the bottom don't know if I'm going to have room for that Yeah, there should be. And we're just going to stamp this. Stamp as close to the bottom as we can. All right, and this is the only coloring I'll be doing. Let me just give it a second to dry. Jamie, how are you on? Aren't you supposed to be flying? <laughs> I figured you'd be in the air by now, Jamie. I'm happy you were able to hop on. Thank you. And I didn't, I'm just using the blends. I'm not really doing any blending, really. Because the, um, the body I did all in dark. And then the, um, the hippo's belly and nose I did with the light gray granite. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I hope you're going to be able to leave soon, Jamie.
That was supposed to be a nice long vacation you were going on. I did not do another piece of the um, DSP for the tutu for the back. That was for the front only. I'm just going to color the back in. little bit of flirty flamingo for inside the ears. going to adhere this to soft seafoam mat. Okay, I'm using a little liquid glue on the back to hold this. Just like that. I usually like to rub it on the other side, but I can't in this case. Okay. Do the envelope real quick. I did already stamp this the hippo on the front. I figured you didn't need to see me coloring that hippo multiple times. I did it the same every time. So we're just going to put a little piece of DSP on the envelope flat. Give it a trim and we'll be done. And I just used a piece of the soft sea foam one. I figured since everything else was petal pink, just to give it a little contrast. And I will have everything on my blog on Friday along with a template for you. Um, so that it's easier to follow than just, I mean, I try to make the directions as easy as I can, but sometimes the template is easier. I believe, I think I have it right in, let's see if I get the right book out or not. Yep, okay, it's... that's the one so that's what I will post on my blog um, if that's the right one I have to I'll double check to make sure it's the right one but I have I have multiple I use this book all the time to draw my little sketches in of however whichever cards I'm making but I will post a copy of it so there there we go just a cute little kids birthday card with the hippo and friends again this set is free with a $50 order and so is um the set of dies but it's only while supplies last so if this is something that you're liking now would be a great time to get it all during celebration if you are anybody's interested in joining please feel free to reach out to me I'd be more than happy to talk to you about it um it's a great way to Fill that wish list, your shopping list, and get everything at a 20% discount. Um, you can contact me at creativestampindesigns at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to talk to you. All right? I hope to see everybody back uh, next Wednesday at 4 o'clock, and hopefully I'll be able to stamp better. All right? Thanks for joining today, everyone. Have a good week. Bye-bye.